Hello my lovely friends, this is Marta. Welcome back on my YouTube channel. Today I have a fabulous tip for you. Uh, if you are using the embossing folders and you do the technique called double embossing, I will show you in a second how to create this double embossing effect without getting those smudges. Usually when you smear the ink pad, uh, the padded ink pads they have this little cushion which is soft so it's very easy to get those smudges but if you will work with the brayer this will give you this absolutely sharp image and it's just working 100 percent i do have some surprise for you so stay tuned till the end of the video and uh, my friends because i've created some uh, free downloadable designs for you now my friends uh, so many new uh, of you has recently joined the channel and subscribe so thank you so very much and I also wish to say thank you to all the friends who's been with me uh, I've recently just posted a video after a long break and I'm so thankful and excited for all of you to jump in and uh, watch the video uh, so thank you so very much by the way my friends please let me know in the comment what is your favorite flower uh, if you have so i would love to know that and for all the new friends who recently joined the channel please say hi please let me know where are you watching from i always love to meet new friends and i'm always curious which side of the world uh, are you in so please say hi everyone I'm going to be working on 5 by 7 card base and I'm starting off from chopping this piece of design paper with the flower pattern on it and then I am uh, taking this other design and I will be cutting slightly smaller a uh, piece just to go in the center uh, there's no special need for taking any measurements I'm just eyeballing it making sure it's like uh, around half an inch smaller than the other one this is what I normally do rather than stressing myself with the ruler I'm taking a pencil and just marking two dots uh, where am I supposed to cut and it's all Always, it never failed me now uh, I am putting the paper in the, the uh, embossing folder and I'm just making sure it's nice and straight uh, right in the center and I will run it through my machine I am using the Sizzix um, big shot machine just in case you're wondering and now it's the main part of the uh, video the tip I wanted to share with you rather than smushing the impact and uh, risking that it will give me some smudges i am adding the ink into the brayer and i'm just gently brayering on top of the rice area because the brayer is very stiff it's got this like you know very um, uh, solid surface it won't go down uh, below the rice area and it will only add you the ink wherever you wish to it not necessarily need to be the embossing ink you can use the colorful distress inks or any other inks and i guarantee it to you that you will have this beautiful result with each time however i've decided to go with the uh, embossing ink because i'm adding this white embossing powder and as you can see here my powder is just sticking to the area where it's supposed to if you would like to have this a thicker layer of the embossing on top of the rice area you can repeat the step two or three times and just play with it you can even do like a ombre effect sprinkle one side of the uh, rice uh, emboss area with one color of the powder and then just like you know melt it into the different color powder that will be working really well too uh, I'm adding the white powder because I've got this light blue color paper and I think it will go nicely together plus the white embossing will add not only this extra interest which will help the pattern to stand out but it has this nice subtle shine and as you can see here uh, this just turned perfectly it's just absolutely beautiful and crisp image and it's all because we switched the ink pad to the brayer and that really really makes the difference now i'm gonna be back in this paper with a piece of the white cardstock because i want to have the similar white frame to go underneath the uh, embossed piece however if you uh, creating the cards and you worry about the postal cost and you not necessarily want to add some extra layering or weight what you can do you can smear the embossing 
ink pad around the area like all four edges and just gently sprinkle it with the white embossing to create the uh, nice frame to go or you can uh, skip the step it's entirely uh, voluntary whatever you prefer uh, I have those labels and as you can see I've printed the free des digital design on two uh, different papers one is the A4 one is the A5 so uh, those those free files which uh, are linked on the buy me a coffee page for which of them the link is down below uh, they will be there for you to download this is a pdf file for free and you can reset the size uh, if you if you prefer so uh, as i did here and i'm using the smaller uh, size now uh, one more tip uh, which i want to share with you is whenever you're fussy cutting your elements keep your hand which hold the scissors very steady and I'm usually keeping my hands support on the desk uh, and I'm not moving the scissors. I'm only twisting the side which I'm holding the paper on. And this way I have this beautiful results if I need to fussy cut some, some elements. This is a Fiskars uh, Easy Spring scissors I'm using and these are just fabulous. This is one of my favorite if it comes for the uh, cutting out the elements. I'm going to be stamping the sentiment and i found this nice thank you uh, this is from the simply made crafts uh, by helen griffin but i'm not quite sure if this stamp set is still available i will have a check uh, for you and if it is i will give you the link in the description but you can use whatever sentiment you prefer uh, i've decided to leave this label blank because this way it will be way more versatile especially that this is a lovely design and i can see myself using this paper for like a wedding or anniversary card or the birthday card uh, this will go uh, with so many different occasions this this paper or even for a baby card uh, because it's such a no nice soft pastel color tone so here you can see how the label uh, turned out and now is the time for me to start assembling my cards together uh, this is going to be a fairly flat card so it's a great idea if you're looking for some some ideas for uh, cards to post i'm going to be adding a little bit of the double-sided tape to the edges of my uh, paper and then i'm adding a drop of liquid glue in the corner and uh, once i'm happy with the placement i am taking off the release papers from underneath this way i have this nice and even uh, layers each time uh, whenever i need to adhere something i will do the same thing with the uh, emboss um, paper and whenever i'm adhering the embossing uh, paper like that i always especially uh, there i'm always adding some liquid glue because uh, those rice edges there may not adhere as well so uh, make sure that you add the liquid adhesive I'm going to be using a little bit of the double-sided foam tape just to raise this panel slightly but this is a one uh, millimeter thick uh, foam I'm using and because this is a very inexpensive foam uh, from the hardware store uh, I am securing it with the layer of the glue on both sides so I'm gonna add it uh, on the uh, card panel uh, before I adhere the foam tape and then I will add additional layer of the glue on top of the foam because this is very cheap tape and I don't trust it enough that uh, with the time it will start uh, falling apart uh, especially with the with the cheap glue uh, with the cheap tapes uh, they usually tend so within the like a one year or so they just start you know coming off and if you give the card to someone you want to make sure that they will the card will last if they will decide to to keep it so i'm gonna do a similar thing with the label i'm just trying to decide whether i would like it uh, move towards the left or right side or in the center but eventually i've decided to uh, adhere it uh, right in the center and i'm adding a very generous layer of the glue here to the foam tape because i have this uh, embossed a piece uh, in front so uh, because the embossing enamel it's uh, quite uh, tricky to adhere something make sure you use either hot glue or a liquid glue so that will be my card for today once again thank you so very much everyone for being here and i'll see you shortly have a wonderful day everyone Bye bye